Aquarius, welcome back to the start of the universe tarot. We are doing your April 2023 readings. Um, if this is your first time, welcome. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll be starting the reading off with the Sacro Chakra Oracle deck by my friend Michaela Davis, who's this group. Um, if you want to check out her channel, it will the link will be in the description box below. We're gonna be clarifying with the Celtic Tarot and then further clarifying with the unicorn the oracle of the unicorn and then we're going to wrap everything up with the eyesight oracle Alrighty, so we have the fear of judgment we have the judgment card here um could be dealing with the sagittarius or a scorpio you have the mirror card could be dealing with the gemini And then you have Passion Warrior here, Seven of Wands. I feel like you're definitely trying and the boundaries under the deck. Okay, yeah. So Aquarius, um, I feel like you're definitely working on breaking down some walls. Whether they're personal walls or maybe um, you could be dealing with somebody. But I feel like if you're dealing with somebody like in a... Um, in a romantic relationship both of you guys are um kind of coming out of this fear of judgment energy i feel like both of you guys see you see each other for who you really are um definitely see each other's strengths and see each other's strengths in each other um with the passion warrior here you no longer want to block this person off though you still want to have healthy boundaries you do want this energy to continue this energy of growth or this energy of understanding um for whatever reason um with the passion warrior in the reverse you almost feel like you were at the verge of blocking that either you were the person that you're directly dealing with but it seems like with the boundaries card the because if you go from the seven of wands to the nine of wands like you did progress um it's like somebody's walls did go back up but it's not um not in a way where you're cutting this person out nor this person is cutting you out just in a way where there's still progression and growth clarify this okay there you go the page of pentacles this is still something very new this fear of judgment is definitely rooted in childhood for you and this person and this is why you guys mirror the same insecurities here but like i said like you guys are definitely uprooting yourself from any energy that causes you to feel this trauma or um or it's easily addressed because i feel like there's a lot of communication here yeah with the um with the chariot card um in the bottom of the deck and the connection yeah this is a victorious connection that's mo that's moving forward here aquarius however there is definitely some um something that a few things that that need um adjusting to clarify yeah, the emperor is here. So you're definitely in um, in a high vibrational state. Equally, this person is um, in alignment with you with the emperor's card here. Both of you guys definitely know how to bend the law of attraction here. I feel like definitely uh, people, 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 um, not people pleasers, but people like uh, very social people, both of you. Um, and the sense of hosting and the sense of... Um, being the life of the party type of energy this person really can match your energy in all aspects clarify uh, the passion warrior in the reverse okay you have the chariot card here yeah like i said yeah this is you have the chariot card twice there's definitely victorious movement forward every time this person breaks down your walls or every time you break down another boundary of this person like it's it's for each other's growth yeah and with the two of cups here this is definitely a very healthy uh soulmate connection here whether it's romantic or whether it's a friendship or whether it's um a partnership it's definitely progressing forward um you see a lot of potential still to grow in this connection and that's why even though it started out small um there there has been rapid 
progression with the chariot card here fast movement clarify the page of pentacles you have support yeah this person supports you and you support them equally um this person's not afraid to ask for help you're not afraid to give help um there and um this person supports you nurturing yourself and equal uh, um and vice versa there's not um i feel like a selfish bone in your body and there's not a selfish bone in this person's body either so there's a lot of um humanitarianism or there could be group um group volunteering going around with this person or um or maybe you guys decide to to um to either create one maybe you got um if this is a partnership maybe you guys are uh, trying to create a um non-profit of, of some sort um that's going to be very victorious here maybe the the project had to be broken down and then rebuilt up because it was rooted in something that wasn't going to grow and now that um it's more fertile this time around clarify the empress there's a anger safely express your anger use anger as a positive force and honor all your emotions as sacred this person's not afraid to be angry in front of you this person likes that they could express both sides of them with the polarity card here with the chariot it's like this person feels safe with you and Aquarius, you're you're usually a very safe place to be, um, because you do honor all of your emotions as sacred. Even though you uh, Aquariuses do tend to be monotone, they do care, and they care. They tend to care about others before they care about themselves. So when and the collective just tends to be so open. And, and safe to Aquarius that it's always they, they always draw in these type of people but this person in particular is something different this person does not easily trust so you have um, a very tender way with them or vice versa and it's really comfortable clarify the chariot card balance you could be dealing with the Libra Take time to relax, indulge a little more or less, and set boundaries with your work. So some of you guys definitely need to send, um, uh, are overworking yourselves and need to um, take time to, to rest. Yeah, boundaries card uh, twice here. Um, Libra got the same energy as well. Um, but have patience for yourself because there's a lot of developing energy that is still in the beginning stages of... Um, what's meant to be here so just uh, uh, allow things to to flow freely but also slowly there there's no need to to rush the energy at all like it's actually unfolding exactly the way it should be temperance energy you could be dealing with the sage final messages final message got it you have healing the divine masculine so you're definitely um you're definitely healing the masculinity in yourself the alpha energy in yourself with our osiris rises um so it doesn't matter if you're female or male because we both hold both energies in it in us but i definitely feel like if you were wondering if you were dealing with the divine masculine and you're a female aquarius you definitely are if you're wondering if you're a divine masculine aquarius and you're a male and you're watching this you definitely are all righty let's see yeah killing the divine masculine osiris rises the divine masculine within men and women is the energy that allows for protection discernment healing and a sense of deep safety and holding even though even through the most uncomfortable circumstances of life when the masculine within us is healthy and strong we have an inner strength to hold ourselves safe through anything your inner masculine is going through healing right now growing stronger in his ability 
to offer you inner protection and stability so that your inner feminine can blossom with creative expression. The inner masculine and inner feminine need each other. When they are in a good relationship with us, we feel like healthy, whole human beings. We are able to live ourselves in a live as ourselves in the world of the relatively peaceful, creative, and enjoyable way. When there is damage in the inner masculine, there is a difficulty standing up for our truths. In knowing what our truths and values are and in knowing how to protect them without feeling as though we have to fight constantly just to be allowed to be ourselves. We all we may also we might also feel that unless others see things as we do, we have no power and then have to fight dominate others, manipulating them to our point of view. The inner masculine part of us often needs healing so that he can fulfill his divine purpose of inner strength, protection, and honoring of the self in all its uniqueness so that we can live as free, strong individuals that know who they are and are happy to just love and be that person and allow others to do the same. This is a very healthy partnership. Aquarius I can't express it enough like there's there's a healthiness and a healing that's growing in you and this person simultaneously as you guys continue to work and balance each other out all right that's what I have for you Aquarius and I hope this helps bye